Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is the Plaghead. Today, I'm going to be playing a different game. One different from the usual list of games on my, uh, on my channel. This game is called Spiritfarer. It's a beautiful, artsy game telling a story about goodbye. I, that's all I know. I played a little bit. I played about five minutes just to see what it was like. So hopefully you guys will enjoy as we journey into this. This is going to be a longer video, but I'll probably do some cuts here and there to shorten down the amount of time spent between certain areas. Without further ado, let's start. second you would never wake up little one wait hold on let me see if I can like uh, play with a controller ooh I can All right, how the fuck do I play with a controller interact as X how ironic that it would have been would it not on Charo The spirit fairer. Well, that is what I have been until your arrival. I cannot say that I am sad to leave, but I still had a few things left to do here. I am afraid you will have to pick up things where I left them. It is, after all, my very last day. And you are? Stella. 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 Welcome, Stella. I see you brought a friend here with you. What's his name? Aww. <laughs> I see. You two will share the burden then. And take it over from me. As I said, in a few minutes I will be gone from this world. And that is why you are here. You will be the new spirit fairer. Why is she shocked? Like, did she not expect this? Listen, your task here will be far from easy, but simple nonetheless. Go fetch the stray spirits stranded on the islands, and when they are ready, bring them back here. Dying souls can't pass away on their own have to help them fulfill their last requests and be at their service until their last breath. Oh no! <laughs> the big round bridge over there is the ever door. The alpha where everything starts. The omega where everything ends. This is where all the quests get completed, and where existence meets its threshold. There is no task more important than this one. Never forget this, Stella. Here, there is something I need to give you. Now, be really careful with it. It is Everlight, the symbol of your status here, and the only tool you will ever need. Wait, what are you- <laughs> <laughs> Oh, how highly inappropriate. Oh, he got his own! Well, that settles it. The Everlight will help you throughout your travels. 
It will be the light that shines in the darkness. The last remaining hope of the departed. The cat was like completely shocked. <laughs> hope is a flame. The light that never falters. The beacon of eternity. It is heavy and inconvenient, but there is no greater duty than this one. The fate of the lost souls rests on your shoulders. Look, I was overwhelmed too at first. Just try to keep your focus. Take it one step at a time. You will soon get used to this place, accustomed to these moments. Spirit you are the new spirit fairies, after all. Oh, and one last thing. Once I am gone, you will have to find a ship of your own. Mine is not suited for you, and it will fade away once I am gone. You might find one not too far from here, if you keep rowing in the right direction for some time. Probably. It's time. Here I go. So long, Stella. And good luck. You will need it. The outline of the trees looks like a boat. Like, at first I was thinking, like, wait, did the boat just, like, become the background? <laughs> oh. No, we made it. I cannot believe I could actually play with a controller. This is fun. But, aww. Whoa. <laughs> Stella, it really is you. Uh, I'm just guessing here. Stand up straight and let me get a look at you. Mm. Hmm. You look good. And Daffodil is here too, I see. Mm. We'll have to find a lint roller then. Ah, it might not be that obvious after mm. all. It's me, Gwen. Good thing you found me. Mm. But if you're here, it means... Oh. You are the new spirit fairy. Mm -hmm. Yes. You are the one replacing Sharon. I was trying to get rid of it. <laughs> <laughs> what? It only ended up here by accident. Well, that's not good at all. Oh. Mm -hmm. Still a, oh. I pressed V. I've been stuck on this disgusting island for about a week, living off sardines and cigarettes. Mm -hmm. Funny how I used to be the one getting you out of trouble. Oh no. I can see you have an ever like mm -hmm. now. Of course. See that boat over there? Oh no, that is... That poor boat's been through a lot. Mm -hmm. That's the one. Mm -hmm. It's obviously slightly shabby, but let's commandeer it. I'd wager it would work since you're the spirit fair. Okay, meet me on the deck mm. over there. I'll explain it all. <laughs> look at, look at her, look at her go. Good Stella go. Oh, fuck! I think this goddamn.
Mm. Okay, here goes. Hope my fur coat won't be too damaged. Mm. <laughs> wow, wonderful. I am not one to jump for joy, but this feels good. Much better than anticipated. Mm -hmm. So, the way I see it, this boat is yours now. Don't you think? Mm -hmm. Good. As you're the new spirit fairer, welcoming strange spirits is your job. And once aboard, they will assume their true forms. Mm -hmm. Well, it's my theory anyway. Why are you looking at me like that? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you need to come here and give me a hug. <laughs> yes. Could I? Could I? Actually, I could hug. <laughs> Let's take a look at this chaos. <laughs> that looks so cute. Yeah, that's what I thought. Oh no. What a mess. You couldn't see it before? Reminds me of Aunt Patina's old yard. Who? A beautiful, unorganized testament to someone's laziness. Mm -hmm. Or in vital impossibility to get rid of anything. At any rate, we should do something about this. Or my dust allergies will come back. Let me think. Mm. There is only one way to clean this up. You have to meet Albert. Mm -hmm. He's your local ship, right? And his jokes are garbage. But he's the only one who can fix your boat. Mm -hmm. We should head to Albert's shipyard. You must be wondering how to make the ship move. Mm -hmm. It's really easy, actually. There. Let me give you this key I found on the island. It'll unlock the cabin in the back. Mm -hmm. You should find a map projector in there. How do I know all this? Well, I was planning an escape, remember? Mm -hmm. And you know me. I plan things meticulously. Very mm -hmm. meticulously. Go. Open up that mm -hmm. cabin store. The map projector should be simple enough to use. And you just have to go to Albert's shipyard. So wh what I was doing there is I was testing whether or not crouch and jump were how to drop. As I understand, this ship is powered by your Ella light. That's how it cruises the ocean and reveals the stray spirits. That also explains why I couldn't do anything myself. Mm -hmm. I, you must admit, it's quite fascinating. Look, I know you must feel overwhelmed. Mm -hmm. Sharon, the Everdor, the Spirit Father, this place, this boat, is me being here. It's a lot. You must be wondering what's going on. Mm -hmm. Truth be told, I don't really know either. But I'm here for you. I'll do my best to help aww, help you and try to make sense of it all. As I said earlier, I wanted to leave by myself. But somehow, I just couldn't. Now that I see you, I think I know why. I'll give you some space, for now. Don't hesitate to explore this ship. Mm. You can even give that fishing rod a try. The world's your oyster. Okay, so... What I realized is that all of the characters or the spirits that our character Stella is gonna have to ferry... They are part of her life in some way, shape, or form. They are all connected to her. And that sucks to think about.
Wait, I thought I... I thought I, I thought I changed course. Wait, what? The upper door is right by it? Okay, then I'm just gonna keep on fishing. Cool, I got a bunch of herrings. Here we are. Oh, <laughs> Albert Shipyard discovered. That's cool. Now head down to Albert Shipyard and upgrade your blueprint station. It's the only way to clear out this clutter. I'm curious about what it's all made mm -hmm. of, considering the smell. I'd say at least seven different types of dirt and dust. Look at the character! Look at Stella, she looks so bored. It's like, just please let it end. But did we really have to park where I just cannot see a uh, deer? Welcome to my shipyard, young traveler. <laughs> Where my prices are customer's best friend, I'm out. Been in the business of shipbuilding for ages. Should I assume you're a new spirit fair? Well, of course you are. Anyway, you've been able to start this ship and bring it here after all. Gwen was right to point you towards my humble enterprise. Ha! Let's see what we have here. Nice little dinghy. Funny how it looks exactly like the one I built some time ago and stored in my old shipyard. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, totally. It's funny. See, Jaren was unhappy about this gloomy and dank arc. Actually, he was always complaining about everything. But the customer is always right. So I built him a newer, better one. Of course, he would never abandon his previous boat. Old habits die hard. Don't worry. You can keep this one. <laughs> Let's just call it alone. And let me tell you something. You know we always joke about destruction here. Don't worry. Uh, anyway, with a little bit of love, this bird will be resplendent? Resplendent. Resplendent. Again. The first thing you'll need is a proper blueprint table. I'm gonna stop that voice now. It's starting to hurt. <laughs> Since it's your lucky day, I'm feeling generous. I'll offer it to you, free of charge. Mind you, it's just a bit bare bones in the terms of functionality. <laughs> but the subsequent upgrades will come at such a small price, you want to buy them almost immediately. Simply direct me to upgrade the ship. Wait, how much am I going to need for everything? Oh my god. Time to pulverize some rocks. <laughs> You'll be able to build and edit your buildings on your boat. What a treat. But if you really want to upgrade your boat in size and in pleasure, I'm your guy. Come back when you feel your boat's getting too crowded. Cheers. Finally. Good. Abbott gave it to you for free, and he said he loaned the ship to you. Ominous. Hard to know what he has in mind, but it doesn't sound reassuring. Anyway, let's focus on the task at hand for now. Cleaning up this deck. You can go and put your new blueprint table above your cabin. And select the move icon. In it, you'll be able to remove any building and get back resources. Go for it. I'll wait down here.
You did a wonderful job, Stella. I just clicked a button. And good news is that you have enough resources to add a guest house to your ship. Unnecessary amenity. Oh. Newly welcomed spirits such as myself will have a temporary place to relax and sleep. Well, sleep, not really. But I can tell you for sure that no one will be thrilled to spend more than one oh. night in there. But it beats sleeping on the deck. The stars are pretty, but the wood is stiff, and the humanity is hard to tolerate. Humanity, humanity. I'll leave it to you. I'll leave you to it. Have fun. Oh, here we go. This guest house is pretty. <laughs> it has your touch. Nice work, as usual. Now, at last, I have a place to sit down and enjoy the view. Oh, wait. What's going on? Something else is happening. Ah, I should have expected this. I'm actually hungry. <laughs> Very hungry. You should know how terrible a cook I am. But I remember you being absolutely fantastic at it. And you might have finished a few fishes already. Trouble is, I can't really eat a raw, entire raw fish. I could try for sure, but I'd only choke on a fish bone and never survive. Yeah. That's not how you want me to go. <laughs> as absurd as this sounds. So, you should keep on using that blueprint table of yours and build a kitchen yeah. aboard. I'm pretty sure I've seen plans for it in there, as well as the necessary resources. Damn. You require bright jelly. Mm -hmm. And there's only one way to get some. Mm -hmm. I... Look, I should have told you this when we first met you here. Something scares the hell out of me. Mm -hmm. A dark presence, even I cower from it. A void that swallows all, light included, and it can take many forms. And for me, it's always jellyfish. Mm -hmm. Yes, I'm fully aware of the irony. The bright jelly you need. Kitchen. Well, only these jellyfish can provide it for you. So there's no other option. Mm -hmm. I'll have to face my fears, but you're here. With you, I can do it. There appears dark patch of pure fear on your map, so you can't miss it. Go, I'll take some time to repair myself. Wait, so what about this? sneeze there anyway uh, this video has gone on for quite a bit of time and now that we are I guess probably set up enough I think it's a good time to call it in we have met Gwen uh, the very first spirit who is a dear lady with petals but it seems as if this game is going to be very related to Stella's life in some way, shape, or form, using some very powerful metaphors, and I'm so excited to play it. If you guys like this video, please like and subscribe to let me know you guys want more of it. My name's The Plaguehead, and I'll be signing off. Later.